Hey, Nick Upton here with Franchise Times. We're down here at the Restaurant Finance and Development Conference. I'm speaking with Jim Greco here, COO at Nukes. Um, Jim, tell me about your guiding philosophy since joining Nukes. You, you just joined last year. What's, what are you going to do? You know, uh, <laughs> we are looking to inc increase the sales at Nukes, and mm -hmm. we have actually uh, done a good job of that this year. Yeah. Uh, we will open 24 units this year, which is a mm -hmm. considerable increase from 2014. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we will uh, ramp that up further for 2015. Okay. Um, all while trying to maintain our high standards um, in terms of food and service of and hospitality. Do you think co uh, commodity prices, uh, beef prices especially, are going to be favorable to you in the coming years? Yeah, I, we actually didn't forecast any commodity inflation for this year, okay. and we're really not forecasting any commodity inflation for next year. When I say that, mm -hmm. there will be some movement within categories, of course. Um, but uh, overall, we think that it'll be a neutral effect on us. Okay, you have quite a track record of the industry. Um, what are some lessons that you've been uh, been taking from these past concepts? You know, I think that uh, generally uh, this business is a lot about execution mm -hmm. and um, detail. Uh, uh, we always talk about um, how retail is detail and we consider mm -hmm. this retail and we also always talk about the five senses that um, that we need that we impact when people yeah. come through the door uh, and we focus on making sure that the experience is mm -hmm. a memorable one. Yeah. Uh, we think memorable experiences create loyalty and loyalty uh, creates brand fanatics. Wonderful. And uh, once you get these brand fanatics, uh, how do you hope to retain them? Do you, are you going to be focusing on loyalty or any of these other, other things to keep people coming back? You know, uh, as I said, I think it's all about detail. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, the, the, really the, the concepts in the restaurant business aren't terribly <laughs> complex. Mm -hmm. What's complex is executing them flawlessly yeah. hundreds of thousands of times a week. Mm -hmm. That's that's the hard part, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, do you have any kind of growth targets um, going forward? Is it a twenty percent unit growth, or do you, do you have exact targets? Yeah. So, uh, as I mentioned, this year we'll, we'll grow by twenty-four units. Yeah. Um, that was on a base of seventy-five, so mm -hmm. it's about a third increase. Oh, that's great. And mm -hmm. next year, our goal is thirty units, um, mm. which will be on a base of about. 100. Yeah. Um, so uh, again, about 30% increase. Okay, that's great. Our goal uh, by 2018, the end of 2018, is uh, 200 units. Fantastic. Combination of company and franchise. Okay. And what's what's that split like? The company. Yeah, we'll end this year with about 20% company. That percentage mm -hmm. will slow grow every year slightly. Okay. Wonderful. Well, yeah. Thanks so much for talking with me, Absolutely. Nick Upton here with Franchise Times. We're down here at Restaurant Finance and Development Conference. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks.